Good afternoon and welcome to the first episode of season one of Mr. Daly's Straight Talk, Straight Talk with Mr. Daly. Um, and I just want to briefly just go through some things that have been um, burning at us as the administrative team at St. Thomas More, but also the staff of St. Thomas More. We realize that over the last couple of years, your education has been kind of disrupted. And a lot of the things that we have done in the past, such as grade level meetings, have not ever happened. And so what has resulted, not necessarily through fault of your own, that you're not necessarily sure what the uh, school expectations are around here. And so we're trying to remedy this. And I do want to give you the, like, the dignity and the um, details of a proper explanation as to why we're asking you to do the things we're asking you to do. So today's um, subject primarily is going to be about the school uniform. But over the next week, uh, we're going to continue with a couple more reminders. I'm going to try to keep it uh, separated so it's brief and that uh, you'll continue to listen because I know if I drag this out for 15 minutes, you probably wouldn't listen and I, I hope and expect that you'll, uh, you'll give me your attention for the next couple. So I just want to talk quickly about the uniform. Uh, you know, I don't want to go right down every rule that goes along with the uniform because I think you're all very aware of it. But the one in particular which I really want to address is uh, hats and sweaters. And I'm asking you students to keep your hats and sweaters in your lockers, not in your classrooms but I do want to explain why that is. Uh, you see, um, myself and many others around here, we've been around here a long time. We've seen a lot of things, good and bad, that have happened at this school. And one in particular, and I, I've recounted this story before, but it was on morning announcements, and some of you may not have been here. But it happened actually just outside the studio, over by the forum. We had a student hang around. Uh, actually, it wasn't on a student. We had a 19-year-old man hang around wearing a red sweater and a pair of black jeans. And for 45 minutes, he milled around the forum until he found his mark, which was a 15-year-old, which he had a beef with. And the resulting physical altercation was terrible. And uh, it was one of those situations where, because a 19-year-old that comes in from outside, he doesn't necessarily recognize the principal, the vice principal. He doesn't necessarily recognize a teacher who's trying to help. He can be violent with anybody. And it was a really, really bad situation and the 15-year-old from St. Thomas More got badly hurt. And the question is, well, why is that relevant? Well, it's relevant because when students wear sweaters through the hallways, which are non-school, it creates a culture where anybody trying to police that school, like myself or the staff or anybody trying to identify who's there and who shouldn't be there, has to turn and look around and see if they recognize the person or has to ask them, where are you going? Are you a student here? These things all should be identified very strictly by the uniform. And so the uniform, more than anything, and I say this to you sincerely, it's not about us telling you what to do. It's not about, you know, me as a principal being the guy in charge and I'm going to have my school in uniform so I can brag about it at the next board meeting. It's not about that at all. It's about me being able to provide to the best of my ability a safe space for you to be able to identify when students are coming from outside to do us harm and to be able to make sure that that doesn't happen. And that is the reason. Now with that, the takeaway for you is that I've asked your teachers to support me on this, that you put all your non-uniform items in your locker and they remain there for the day. Of course, if you're going out for lunch, you're gonna get your non-uniform items out and, and leave the building, but you're not gonna be in the building out of uniform. And I'm asking you to that for your safety primarily. It's also a rule, but that's really not the main, main reason. So that's straight talk from Mr. Daly for today. We are gonna to tackle some of our other hot button issues over the next couple episodes. I'm gonna throw in two quick ones here. Okay, number one, if you have an incident at the plaza, we've talked about this in the past, you're subject to not only school discipline, but also police involvement. And I recommend you don't do anything at the plaza whose security cameras in a lot of cases are better than ours. And I also want to invite you as a, um, you know, uh, you, you might be seeing relatives over the Easter weekend, this long weekend, you might be in need of some rapid antigen tests and we do have them available in the main office if you need them. So with that, I do thank you for listening. I do apologize to the teachers if this was disruptive to you. Uh, we are gonna continue to do these over the next week as we try to reset the school and just make sure it's a better place and a safer place for everybody to live and learn. So with that, wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for listening to Straight Talk with Mr. Daly.